What is up, Drip Tippers? This is comedian Ben Morrison here with another Driptastic video for you. Um, oh, God. <coughs> so based on the expression I just gave you, the subject of today's video is the Drip Tip Shitty E-Juice Review. Dun -bum 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 -bum. <laughs> Um, oh god, that was horrible. Uh, I see a lot of review videos online of all the newest and most amazing e-juices that are out there. Juices that have been steeped in uh, uh, a wooden cask uh, made out of a monk's rectum for four to five years atop a mountain guarded uh, by a goat running a 0.2 ohm coil. Uh, juices that... Uh, are exotic and taste like the world's best wines. Um, and because I largely can't afford those juices, I wound up buying the shitty juices, uh, the $5 juices at the $5 bin. Uh, and I always go into it with the best of intentions. Um, you always want the juices to taste exactly like their label would have you believe that they taste. But more often than not, um, like betting on a horse, because it's a 500 to 1 shot, you hope that they can get over their gout, win the race, and make you a real winner for having taken a chance on the underdog. But more often than not, generally always, uh, the horse uh, kneels over and dies at the gate, while a little tiny jockey smashes him in the keister, hoping he could just perform and save him from inevitable suicide. So without further ado, I am going to review four of the shitty juices I've been holding on to for no particular reason, that I always tell myself I'm going to vape it forward on the Reddit forum, but then can't bring myself to even dedicate enough time to posting all these shitty juices, let alone packaging them up and sending my problem off to somewhere uh, else in the vaping world. Um, the first juice I'm going to review is uh, Tipsy McGregor. Tipsy McGregor from a company called Tetravate. Uh, I bought this juice because I was on the Reddit eSig forum, and the person who ran Tetravate said, Hey, we're going out of business. Sales suck. Yeah, all my juice is half off. And I was like, Oh, that sounds like a deal. So I went and I bought like four fucking bottles of juice thinking that it was just the rest of the world that had the problem, and how could they overlook such a bargain? Then when I got the juice, I discovered that there's a reason that they went out of business, because their juice tastes like donkey semen. Um, Tipsy McGregor. I should have known when one of the ingredients is organic ethyl alcohol. You should never be vaping ethyl alcohol. Um, I don't even like putting ethyl alcohol on my wounds, let alone in my lungs. This promised uh, to be kind of like a an Irish mint, an Irish cream uh, flavor profile. Um, for the purposes of all you vape heads out there, uh, I will be testing all these on a 0 0.9, it's 0.8 a second ago, Clapton coil, single coil, on an authentic tugboat V2. Um, so let's drip some Tipsy McGregor on the, on the old Clapton and see if we can't build a stairway to flavor. Tighten up that childproof cap. You don't even need a childproof cap on this. If, if a toddler's gonna drink this shit, one sip and they're gonna puke fucking Gerber all over the place. Here we go. <coughs> oh. <laughs> That's horrible. I got four different flavors from Tetra Vape. I've thrown the other three away. I don't know why I still have this bottle. Maybe it's like a, a shame reminder in my juice pile. It tastes like uh, like someone stuck in uh, like an like an Irish coffee, uh, like in a homeless person's butt crack. Mix it around with their sweat. Squoze it out into a childproof container. 
Tipsy McGregor. They should call it Shitty McNope. I gotta burn some of this off for our next juice review. Get out of my coil! Alright, we'll call that one square. Next up is a juice from a vendor I actually really like, Witty Octopus, who I do highly recommend for all of their other flavors. Not this one. They sent me this. Uh, I ordered. An, uh, I did an order with Tipsy McGregor. I got like uh, 330 mils or something. And they sent me this as the free gift. And I opened it up. I was like, oh, free juice. What's it going to be? Banana? Uh, mango? Maybe some chocolate? First off, it's called Lancaster and York. And don't vape juice. That sounds like a lawyer in 1833 London. I looked it up online. And I was like, what is this? Oh, God. It's, it's fucking rose water. Rose water. I've never looked at, like, a primed up coil ready to spit some clouds and thought, you know what you know would be really good in that thing? Fucking roses. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Don't vape this juice because it'll make you spew. And he's like, this is the free 30 mil. This is supposed to be that new flavor you fall in love with. Now we're going to, let's drip some Lancaster and York. And don't fucking comment on this video saying like, oh, you're not getting the whole flavor profile because you put it on top of Tipsy McGregor. Listen up. Shit on top of shit, still shit. I'm sure I'm going to get enough rose water to tide me over. <laughs> Oh. oh, God, uh, that tastes like, um, like, um, I'm getting punched in the dick in a failing florist's office. Why would anyone want to vape rose water? I don't want to vape roses. I don't want to vape water. I don't want to vape rose water. This is horrible. This is like, this is like a wedding bouquet you should send to your ex. Hey, sweetie, I hope your marriage is as good as this juice. If you want to reach me, I'll be at the law offices of Lancaster and York. Ugh. Let's burn this out. This is like a road flare. Stay away from juices of this quality. Next up, we have a genuine... $5 bin find that I got from the vapor store here in K-Town, Los Angeles. And I was like, whoa, 30 mils for five bucks. What could go wrong? It's dark chocolate mint. I like dark chocolate. I like mint. Why the fuck not? But then I, when I bought it, I looked, I saw the consistency of the juice. Can you see this shit? It's like, it's like water. Can you hear that sloshing around? That's like a sports drink. And I noticed it was 70 PG, 30 VG, and I'm like, that 30 is not pulling its weight on the team here. It's the thinnest juice I've ever seen. This juice suffers from ejuicerexia. And I was like, okay. Hopefully it's better than Tipsy MacGregor. Let's drip some on. Oof. It tastes like a Thin Mint that wasn't purchased in 2002. It's just... There's like no chocolate, and it's all mint. But like the, the chocolate wants to be there, you know? Kind of like a York Peppermint Patty who keeps getting held back a grade. And the juice is just so thin. It's like the clouds are like... They're just, you can see through, it's like, it's like seeing the ghost of flavor past. Now I have 26 fucking milliliters of juice I wouldn't want to give to my ex. Maybe I'll send it as a wedding present with the 
Lancaster and York. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Burn this flavor abortion off. You can do it, Ice Stick 50 Watt. Up until this Ice Stick 50 Watt catches fire and burns my house down, great little mod. And finally, we have a free juice sample I was given at the Consumer Electronics Show. <clears throat> Not the place you really go to get premium e-liquid. The guy was really nice. <laughs> you know what's funny? On the top it says, premium e-liquid. And just like a, a chick who goes out of her way to tell you how hot she is, under all that makeup, is a horribly damaged person. Premium e-liquid. And I got this, and I was excited to get a free sample. Strawberry shortcake. I like strawberries. I like cake. I like short people. Why not? <clears throat> and uh, I threw it in my dripper. And all I saw at the bottom was 2.4. And I think we have got to abandon the whole percentage thing for Nick levels because from a distance 2.4 looks like <clears throat> you wanted to get three milligram but it just was stepped down a little bit it's it's like 2.4 milligram it's 2.4 percent this is some, this is fucking 24 this is like for a person who switched from vaping to smoking like three packs of unfit unfiltered world war one trench war warfare palm malls and I threw this in the dripper, and I took a huge cloud of 24, which for the purposes of this video being funny, I am going to do once more. Alright. Wish me luck. Holy shit. <coughs> Oh, I think my balls just puked. Holy shit, that's so much nicotine. This is like the best anti-smoking commercial ever. Oh, you know that tingly, like, Nick feeling? When you feel like there's like a... Like a panda bear shitting on your head? That tingly, like, confused... I can't decide if I want to puke. I'm like, maybe I should puke. It won't help. No, I'm just gonna get the. Oh God, that's far. I can't do that again. That's that's all I got. Oh God, I just gotta burn this off. I can see that my curtains are melting with all this nicotine. No. All right, drip. All right, drip trippers. That's all I got. This has been the first installment of. Ben Morrison's Drip Tip Shitty Vape Juice Review. If you guys have any shitty woo, juice you want me to review, <clears throat> leave a comment in the video. And if you can get it to me, I will review it on the Drip Tip Comedy Vaping Channel. Oh, Lord. Oh. I gotta go lay down. I, I gotta go.